So let's say you wanted to create a fillet that has a small radius at the top and a big radius at the bottom. What you could do, of course, is create a cut like this on each side. These cuts act as guardrails. And you would then follow up with a percent bevel. Usually this works pretty well, but for some reason, there are some issues here. But anyway, it's also totally unnecessary if you use Mesh Machine. Instead of adding that extra topology, you can just create a regular chamfer using the native bevel tool. Then continue adjusting it using the Change Width tool. This then also has a taper feature, so you can do something like this. And once happy with the chamfer, you would use the Fuse tool to create the fillet from it, which gives you this fillet that's wide at the bottom and narrow at the top. Furthermore, you can use the Unfuse tool to go back to the chamfer too, because chamfers are easy to adjust, but full bevels, not so much. And then, maybe do a partial edit to it by changing the width of a few of its faces only to make a section narrow again. Finally, you could then also use the Unfuck tool to widen only individual edge loops even. And so as you can see, the combination of these tools gives you a great amount of flexibility in terms of designing your fillets that you otherwise don't have with native tools, certainly not as easily.